Welcome back to the channel guys. News Now Yorkshire here. Today we are in Selby. We're at Selby Police Station today guys. Part of North, North Yorkshire Police. It's actually right next door to the hospital. So let's have a quick look around. See what's going on at Selby Police Station. Close to the public. It seems as though it's closed. No, the police station. Have a look around the outside there. See what's going on at Selby Police Station, if anything, because it's closed. Seems to be happening a lot. Closing police stations down due to COVID. I don't know, you can get to that car park around the other side. So I think that's what I'll do. Let's have a little walk around into that car park there, have a look at the cars and the vans. Probably so you can get through here. Excuse me, sir. Come here a second. Sorry? Come here. No, I'm alright, thanks. To get out there. There's that little bit. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Sorry, Matt. There's no issue. Do you wonder why you were filming? Oh, I know there's no issue. Right. Are you PCSO? I am indeed, sir. Can I see your designation card, please? You can indeed. Why do you see my designation card? Because you're a PCSO, contacting me. So I'd like to see your designation card, please. Well, that's my ID, first and foremost. Five I'm just speaking with this gentleman first. Yep. And there's my PCSO postcard. Awesome. And yours? Seven two nine. Not that you really need to see that. You can also see my badge. Stick your pocket. There we go. Powers card. It's even got my name on it and everything. Awesome. Thank you very much. Can I help you? No, I'm okay. Thank you. Where are you going? Down here. What is it you're trying to do? I think it's pretty obvious what I'm doing. Why are you doing that? Because I enjoy it. How come? Cool. Let's do. With you. Yeah, if you just stay behind the camera, is that alright? Why is that? Because then you'll be in the way. Why? What am I in the way of? I'm walking the next to you. The camera, that's what I'm saying. If you well, stay it's not filming this way, is it? No, I'm saying if you stay behind or next to me. If you want me to stay a sit behind you, I'm, that's fine. Awesome. And if you could just keep the volume down, I'd appreciate that. Thank you. Guys, we've got some vans here. Let's have a look around. Is it the number plates you're after? Not particularly, no. I mean, they're just on the on oh, the van. No, it's it. just your 
filming them. That's no, all. it's just a low shot, that's all. Like I said, can you just keep the noise down? Because you're interrupting me, I'll have to I do it all again, that's why all. why you want me to keep the noise down, that's all. Because I'm trying to make a video and you, you're interrupting me. That's fine, but I've got freedom of speech, you've got to, you've got to understand that. I know, that. but now you're just harassing me, that's all. Okay, sir, so now you're on private no, property. Sir. This is private property, this is it? private property, yeah. sir. So and I was wondering, would you be able to give us your details? No, no thank you. No, I don't think so. There's no signs when I came in. I don't have to give details. Yes, you do. Under section two, please the that. You don't have to give any officer or name, contact details, date of birth, etc. Did you suspect me of a crime? Not much to see here, guys. They're getting a bit heavy handed, so we'll just have a walk around back to the main part of the building. Maybe some more senior officers there who can uh, de escalate the situation. What situation is that? It's alright, I can help you. You've just accused me of a crime. I don't want to speak to you anymore. There's something interesting going on? Bear with me, fella, I've just got radio. No worries, Bob. Yeah, no, I was just wondering if there's, a, if there's all interesting going on. Anything interesting? Yeah. No, very rarely anything interesting, to be honest. All right. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm not too bad. Well, I did, a, colleagues were having a chat with you. I did have a little bit of a bit of a deal at your police station. Is that your police station? I don't yeah, know. Well, you yeah. work at that one? It's somewhere I work, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I was trying to take some pictures of the vans and stuff. Yeah. As I walked, walked down, I got approached by two PCSOs. Yeah. Um, instantly asking me details and stuff like that. So I, obviously I got all their details and didn't give any of mine because why should I? Not done anything wrong. Yeah, yeah, quite right. <laughs> um, and I did e explain to what I was doing. You know, I'm just filming the, the police essentially, you know, getting yeah. the police cars and stuff like that, police officers, police buildings. Um, and she was interrupting my video. So I just asked her politely, you know, because I'm trying to make a video. So if you want to walk, walk with me, so just stay behind the camera and keep the volume down, if you don't mind. She, she then, as soon as I started um, my project because i was filming already but as soon as i started my project um and, and bent down to take the first shot she just started talking straight away and started talking about the light I'm like, come on now you're taking the mick you know and then she uh, she accused me of a, a crime um she said that i had to give her my details under uh, if i don't something about section 50. section 50 of the police reform act it gives police officers what? the power to obtain details if they believe the crime is being uh, committed or a, a crime may be committed Section 50. Format, yeah. Okay, so I thought that was antisocial behaviour. Not to my knowledge. Not to your knowledge? No. Okay, because I've been arrested for Section 50 twice and it's antisocial behaviour. Okay. Yeah. Not Section 5. Section 50. That's oh, right, okay. Section 5. Well, I will the... get wrapped up in policies with you because I. Uh, it's um, whatever she's told you, I can't comment on. But... And is that a police officer? Or is that a police constable, sorry? It depends on the force. <laughs> as far as I know, our PCSOs have the power to request that detail if they need to, yeah. So a Some PCSO, won't, but I was will. okay, because um, she didn't actually ask me for my details. She just said that I'm committing an offence by not giving her details. Um, she never said to me that I'm obliged to give her my details. Yeah. Um, so obviously I haven't, because if she told me I was obliged to, I would have done, and then I'd have complained about it afterwards. Yeah. Um, but can you can I just clarify? Am I allowed to go take pictures of the van or? As long as you're in a public spot. Yeah. With right of access, obviously, it causes a bit of concern when people are doing it, as I'm sure you can appreciate. Not but really, no. Well, we get a lot of we get a lot of targeted interest from people. Has that, has that who, happened before? It's happened across over the world. Yeah, you've only got to look at places like France, where officers are openly targeted by certain groups who aren't aren't particularly fond of. No, but is it is it happening here? I, I wouldn't be able to comment. I wouldn't be able to comment. But that, I know, I but you just said is, a really serious thing there. That that you know. I'm, yeah, yeah, well, it can be. It can be. That's all I'm trying to explain is why. I'm just asking if that's a genuine threat. It is a genuine threat. Yes. Okay, and. Did she believe that I was there I've for no nefarious idea. intent? Or? I honestly couldn't comment. Honestly just couldn't a bit, comment. bit of a strange one. And then I asked, someone, I asked a police officer to come out. Um, you, I think it was you, pulled up outside the uh, front doors. Yeah. Yeah, so you pulled up outside the front doors, didn't get out. I'm assuming it wasn't you that was called. And I pressed the bell again after you'd been there for five minutes or so. I haven't been called at all. No, no I'm, I'm, I, I, I yeah, believe that. Um, so then I pressed the bell again and said, is someone coming? Because I'm a bit bawdy, I've got stuff to do. Right. Um, and then she said, if you feel harassed, you should leave. How does that work? What were you wanting to speak to someone for, was it? So I pressed the bell because I was being harassed and accused of crimes by two PCSOs. Right. So okay. I was trying to make my video 
um, wasn't able to do so, so I went around the front to get a more senior officer, a, yeah. a, a, someone who is actually an officer. No offence to those two, but you know, yeah, yeah, there's, okay. there's, know there's different mean. ranks. Yeah, yeah. Um, and no one came out, and then I was told by the lady on the desk, if you feel harassed, you should leave. You know, <laughs> we don't care, essentially. Right. <laughs> well, I suppose it, it hinges on... I mean, what, do you feel you're being harassed? Or? I was definitely being harassed, yeah, and I was right. being accused of crimes, and um, there was potential threat of violence there, because if I'm, if I'm committing a crime, she's then going to, you know, place hands on me and, and, and do whatever, whatever you guys do, um, which is a violent act, I might add, you know. When you haven't done anything wrong, it's a violent act. She hasn't, though, has she? she no, she hasn't, but she was threatening to do so, so which is why I felt um, harassed, alarmed and distressed, so I went to speak to the police, and the police said they don't care. If, if you'd like to make a complaint about it, you can. You can't make it to me because I'm not impartial. Obviously, I work at that police station. Okay. If you do, if you do want to make a complaint, I'd suggest that you either do so on the website. Right. There's, there's the, you press all the buttons to get to the right place. Yeah, yeah. Or by ringing 101. 101. And make awesome. A complaint through there, and someone will speak to you. Brilliant. Uh, officer of higher rank. Yeah. Can I just ask you about that flag? Yes. What's the flag I'm for? I'm not going to answer any questions, but you can ask me. You're not going to answer? <laughs> no, because you're going to okay. wrap me up in circles. All right, I'm just, I'd, I'd just like to know a little bit more information about the flag. Yep. That represents to me... To you, okay. To me, yeah. personally, as uh, an emblem of support for my fallen colleagues. Okay. And that's all it is. Okay. And that's all, that's all I'm going to say about it. I'll just add my bit into that and you can you can uh, okay. stew on that if you like. Yeah, yeah, sure. There's a lot of people that see that as a gang sign. Okay. And yeah. as, a, as, a, as a sign of, of, of hate towards the public from the police. Okay. And there's a lot of people that aren't happy with that sign. Okay. Just I, I do not wear it for that cause. Okay. I'm quite proud to say that. Um, I, I've, I've no reason to wear it for those co that cause at all. Uh, it saddens me to hear that people do think of it like that. Um, honestly, I wasn't aware. It, no, it's a, it's a very, very real um, I've heard very that real people thing. don't like the, the definition of the flag. Yep. That's uh, part of it. Yeah. Part of it, yeah. Um, but for me, that's, that's not. Is right. there any regulations on the uniform, or is it just again some forces? Yes, some forces no. Your force no. Ours particularly, they currently don't have an issue with us wearing that flag, okay. um, because they support the reasons for which we wear it. Okay. Other forces, I am aware of taking a stance not to use it, but I think it's more the case of not wanting to prov provoke any negative interaction with the public, such as people like yourselves. And, and for me personally, I would I would see that as a as a, as a massive benefit. Yep. That you know, although you might have personal attachment to that flag. There's, there's a sort of um, a bigger picture to look at, and people are offended by it. So you yeah. maybe maybe want, might want to rethink your mention position it, on the flag. If you want to make a complaint, you can mention. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm not making. I'm not making a complaint about you personally. You, you've been all right. I'm just. Try I'm just. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to sort of open a dialogue about that that flag in particular, mm -hmm. um, and just let you know. And you might, you know, you might change your mind, and you might think to yourself, I keep it in my pocket instead. You know, I keep it at home instead. You know, I yeah. don't know. But I'll leave that with you. I'll let you stew on that one. A call. But it's nice to meet you. You too. All Thank right. you very much. He seemed okay. This is a shame he's part of the gang. So, here we are. We will have a look around. And now that we've had confirmation, we'll stay here. Stay here for a little bit. See if any of them want to leave. And if they do leave, maybe we can get them to put the lights on as they go out. Have you not? No! Why? For a lawful cause. Oh, uh, <laughs> can't you just put them on? <laughs> Does it live free? Me? Yeah. Is that who you think I am? Yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it not? Can we get a big up live free? It is, isn't it? I thought it might be. If, if you big up live free, I'll tell you who I am. Uh, perhaps not. <laughs> I mean, you're just giving game away, aren't you? Why? Do you want me to pick it up? Yeah, I like the channel. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> See you in a bit, mate. See you later, pal. First station of the day to have anybody in it. Been to two police stations in Humberside today. Both of them close to the public. This one part of North Yorkshire Police, also close to the public. However, there are police floating around in there. It is still an active station, I believe.
Oh, massive, massive fail for North Yorkshire Police. Massive fail.